Hi, good afternoon. Wow, it is good afternoon. It's about a quarter to one here in Colorado. Um, kind of crispy day, nice sunny day. Supposed to get some snow coming in maybe uh, tomorrow. I think tonight coming in a little snow. Um, tomorrow a little snow. So that's fine, you know, but I'm just praying that December won't be so snowy because I'm supposed to have family members coming out to visit Colorado. So I'm hoping it will be a kind of warm December. So people, so glad to be back with you today. Uh, so much going on as always. We are in the end times. This is the time. This is the time to be about our father's business. I was asking the Lord what he wanted me to talk about today and um, gave me a few things here, but I'm going to do some testimonies today before I get into uh, the news. But, um, well, maybe I get into the news a little bit first and then kind of tie it in with the testimonies a little bit. But, um, I'm really, yesterday I talked about security, you know, what, who, who, who are you secure in? What is your security? Do you have eternal security? Um, and so now as I look at the news today, I'm telling you, it's no security. It's just absolutely no security. I was looking at the uh, news and it was talking about, um, let me see here. They're making changes to the social security, uh, for the baby boomers. And you know, I have Forbes, Forbes had an article on that. I'm gonna post it below for you to read into all the details of that. But you know, as the economy is collapsing every day, here, there, a little there, you know, and just gonna keep winding down because that's what they wanna do. And uh, so I'm uh, gonna post that below. And then also, um, oh boy, the devil is just, the devil's just raging, raging. I was reading about, um, Oh, wow. I got my notes here. Let me look at it. I was reading about Russia. <laughs> Russia is making, designing a um, USB. It's already designed, actually. USB stick. And you put it on your computer. I don't have one here out now to show you. USB stick. You know what that is, but you had it in college. You put it on the side of your computer to have files, you know, different files on and stuff like that. They are making one now that they can put on the computers, your TV, your laptops, whatever, and it destroyed a whole file. Just fry it, fry it, completely get rid of it in seconds. So I'm going to put that link below. Um, this gentleman's talking about it. Um, and China is introducing an internet driver's license, an internet driver's license where they want to try to, um, you know, it's like communism. They want to take over, control you with points and things, and you get a certain number of points, they can co co come and co uh, arrest you, whatever. And he talks about the whole thing in detail on InfoWalls, so I'm going to let you look at that link, and you can see the whole details of that. So we got all these things going on. So that's why I say we don't have any security in the world anymore. You know, Jesus said that, uh, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and the world and they that dwell therein, the world. The world belongs to him as well. And I'm just telling people we have to trust him because he's the only one can do all things and everything. And without him, we can do nothing. But men have just gotten overboard. They think they can do everything without him. They think that they just can make, do everything, cloning and this and that and da 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 and CERN and da 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 and you know, whatever they want to do, they're trying to take over the world, what they're trying to do, and ain't gonna, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work. Daniel told you it wasn't going to work. You know, you go down and you go into the, the, the statue of Daniel and go down to the toes, uh, the clay and uh, iron mixed. God going to carve out a kingdom that's going to last forever and forever, his kingdom. And so that's why I want to talk about today my title, White Ramit. White raiment require, requirement, white, a white raiment. I mean, I wish I can talk as good as some people, but that's okay. A white raiment requirement is what God is going to expect. Who is your king? Who do you worship? He said, a, he told us not to love the world and the things in the world. We're in the world, but not of the world. Love not the things in the world. 
and we just seem to don't get it, do we? But, you know, you learn the hard way. I learned some hard lessons myself, people. I'm telling some hard lessons. You just have to learn to trust him totally for everything. I'm going to pick on Roger today, my, my best friend in India that I really love, that God led me to two years ago, almost two and a half years ago. I was very skeptical of him. I, I you know, I saw him on a, a social, a social media site. Uh, you know, this young man uh, preaching and teaching the people in his country. Very skeptical. Uh, had to pray a lot of days and nights and ask the Lord to show me what He would have me to do with this man. And I went and prayed, and then one night he made a confirmation, another confirmation, another confirmation. Support him, support him, look out for him, pray for him, uplift him, encourage him, teach him, mentor him. And I did. I did those things. Me and my husband mentored him, talked to him, prayed, got on Skype, uh, you know, got on the live uh, social media tools you can use to talk to people and just talked to him, met his family, met his wife talked to him, everything was looking all kosher, you know, looking okay, and then I said, Lord, you got to give me something else, I need to really know, I've been ripped off, I've been scammed too many times, you got to show me, Father, <laughs> then he showed me an angel, he showed an angel came over my bed, tall and big and tall, and you know, like I say, you don't hear angels talk audibly, you hear them, you feel them, I don't know, I feel him talking to me, I don't hear him talking to me, it's almost like the small still voice when God is talking to you, you don't really hear him audibly, but you hear it inside, you know, your head, he's talking to you, so it's almost similar, but he told me, you know, to do this, and, and now Roger, oh praise God, hallelujah, um, as I was supporting him with little money as I could give him, and then we, God led me into Bob Barbara, I met Bob Barbara, and then Bob Barbara wanted to meet, uh, you know, wanted to meet my friend, Roger, so we did a three-way Skype, and we talked and introduced one another, and, and, and now Bob is supporting him in many ways I never could even imagine me doing, and he, Roger got a truck now, he has, uh, he, God, first God blessed him with a nice, pretty nice house in India because they burnt down his house in his town, Orissa. They burned it down and they burnt the churches down and, and he didn't, he lost everything. He lost everything. And I said, Roger, you got to trust God. He can do anything, everything. Don't look at what you don't have. Look at what you can have and what you will have if you put your trust in him. <laughs> and that's what you have to do. Trust Yeshua HaMashiach. He is the one that owns all things and have all things. Cattle on a thousand hills. What do you say? I go to prepare a place for you. Where there I am, you may be also. <laughs> so, you know, he has it all, people. But we put our trust in the government and we put our trust in this and put our trust in that. And I'm not saying, I'm not, a lot of people own the government and I use the government, but I'm saying one day we're going to not have the government. So what are you going to do? Are you going to just curse God and die? You can't do that. You can't give your soul salvation up for, for rampant, for, for nothing, for stuff, 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 stuff. So, you know, we have to learn to put our trust in him totally for all things and anything. Like he said, fear not the body, fear not the body, fear the person that can destroy both soul and body and hell fire. You don't fear man, okay? Fear man is nobody. You know, so you put your trust in almighty God. So, Roger, I'm going back to you. Talk to Roger, to old Roger, a man. I don't know how, when, or who. I say, I just know a man's going to help you. I see it, God showing me a man's going to help you. And see, Bob showed up, and he's that man helping him. And uh, I'm just so amazing. I got an uh, email from him this morning, and he was saying he'll talk to me the weekend. He's just saying how he's just enjoying the people, giving the Bibles out to the people, the blankets and food and, and the gospel of Christ and, and Bibles, especially to the people all over India now. And got another friend in India. Got a young lady, uh, Yasante. She's over in Uganda. We got all kind of things going on with this small ministry people. And so that's why I asked you when I post below to support them, support Bob, 
go and click on the little link and see the video that you can see uh, what he is doing. It is just an awesome ministry. And I just want to thank all you givers for giving. I, I really want to appreciate uh, the, a lady in uh, Colorado Springs. She knows who she is. You may not want me announcing her name, but she has been given already given, just given. And so I appreciate it so much because when I get offerings, I send them to Bob. I send them to Bob. So I just want to thank you so much for your givings and your prayers and, and everything of that nature. So I'm saying two years ago, uh, Roger didn't have nothing. And God has blessed him with transportation, housing, you name it. His whole family is traveling now doing the ministry. So, you know, whatever your desires of your heart is, people, God will give you desires of your heart if you are in your purpose with him, doing his purpose, not your purpose, okay? Not your purpose, his purpose. So you need to pray and ask. Pray and ask him to show you what your purpose is. That's why I say, who do you worship today? Who is your king? White Ramit is what the requirement is for, for heaven. And I'm going to read that later out of the uh, Maranatha, the Lord is coming from Ellen White. And so I posted these links below. Uh, what's going on with the world. I'll tell you so much going on. And uh, I want to tell you another testimony. And then I'm going to get over to Ellen about how God, how good God is. God is just a good God. And I said, if you want to read a lot of my testimonies, you can go to my blog at www.ourdailydrink.wordpress.com and you can read my poetry there. You can read my book, He Did What, with all my testimonies in it. I do not cost, charge people for them. I tried that people, I tried to publish so many years and wasted my money, got scammed. Two people took my money from me. So I don't even bother anymore. I just feel like God want me to share it, so I'm sharing it. And if anybody ever come and want to come along and publish, if I feel like that's what they want to do, fine, but I'm not pushing that anymore. I'm just sharing it, okay? So you can go there and read it if you want. Uh, some of my stuff is copyrighted, some of it is not, but you know, I, I don't worry. I don't I can't worry about that stuff anymore. It's just too much time wasting to worry about that. I'm not trying to uplift myself. I'm not trying to ad put the adoration in me. Like I said, we are nobody. We are nobody. We're just vessels for the Lord. We're just workmen for him. And that's what he wants, workmen, doers, not hearers, workmen, okay? But it's time in the end here that we're living in now. Okay, one other testimony I had. It came to mind this morning just to thank you how wonderful my God is, how awesome he is. I was uh, working at the time down in uh, Colorado Springs area. I was a CNA. I did certified nurse's assistance for a lot of years before I had an injury. And um, I, was I was at a residence one day, uh, a nice residence out in Monument. And uh, this lady was leaving. I know they was leaving. He was packing up the moving, moving, moving up north. And probably was my last day there. I'm sure it was. But at the time, I had to get my roommate. At the time, I was living with a, I was single then. I was living with a, a roommate, a lady I knew. And uh, I had to get her to take me to work that morning. And I had to get her to pick me up because my car was in the shop. And uh, I told the Lord, I said, my car's in the shop. They just called me, and she was on her way to pick me up. And my car was in the shop, and I'm like, Lord, I'm short. I just don't have the money. They want more money, you know. They want a little more money than I thought what it was going to be. And I said, I don't know what I'm going to do because she's on her way to get me to go get my car from the shop. Now, what I'm going to do here? Okay. As I'm getting my the gatherings together, I'm getting ready to leave. I'm getting ready to leave to go home uh, to go with my uh, roommate to pick me up. This lady comes out, you know, the uh, the lady I take care of daughter comes out, and she just kind of pokes something in my hand like this, you know. Oh, Marna, here, this is for you, and I just been wanting to give you something, so just take that. Don't say nothing, just take it. And I said, Oh, praise the Lord, you know, and um. Uh, so I go to the car, and I didn't even look at it. I didn't even look in my hand till I got to the car, and we on our way down the road to go get my car. And people had already told me it's going to be all, you know, a little more over, way over than what I thought. 
And I look at my hand and lo and behold, what is it? It's 80, it's 80 some dollars. Just, I needed 60 something extra. And it was 80 something she had given me, I think 80. So she gave me enough to get my car out. Plus I had an extra $20 tip. And I'm just saying, God is so good. He's so wonderful. How in the world did he know how did I, I never would have thought that would have happened. Never would have thought that would have happened. Oh, excuse me. I was there for so many, so many months working there. And, you know, they're very wealthy people and all that, but I just never thought that would have happened, never. And see how God used her to help me for the moment of need that I need it right now. Like I tell people, if you need bread on your table today, you don't want to pray, 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 fast, 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 pray, pray, pray. You want to believe. He asks us to believe him, believe that he can do something. Expect it. Expect it to happen. Who said it had to happen next week? Who said it had to happen next month? Who said it had to happen next year? It can happen right now. As Rennie McLean, Dr. Rennie McLean said, we have a now God. We have a now God. You ought to go see his series on the now, the living in the now. And we do. We have a now God. But do we believe or do we not believe? We mistrust him. Unbelief. He said it's impossible to please me without faith. It's impossible to, to please me without it. So why don't you try to please him? Stop, uh, have him to, um, I tell people, you know, if you want faith in your life, ask God to give you more faith. He will. He'll show you how to have more faith. Ask him, increase my faith, Father, increase my faith. And he will do that. Believe me, he will. He have done it for me for so many years, so many years, so many years. I have so, so many things I can tell you. That's why I say go read my testimonies. And I got to add more testimonies to that book because I had so many things happen prior to that book, you know, already. I mean, after that book was written, I have to go and write more things and add to that book because so many other miracles have happened. And I just love him so much. So when this economy break down and when the Social Security go away and and all these things happen, I was reading, looking at something today. I'm going to post that below about the preparations coming, how when they get rid of all these things and we're in the dark, you know. And I heard some people say, oh, we don't need to prepare. We don't need to prepare. Well, you know, I'm not going to be that ignorant because the ants prepare for the winter, like I said. So you need to have a few things around, you know, just in case you can't get to the store in two weeks. You need to have something in your household. You know, you don't have to go and go overboard, you know, and have stocks and stocks and stocks and stuff where, you know, the worms get in it and destroy it and all that. No, but you need to have some things in your house. So don't go around being stupid. Don't be dumb. God didn't make dumb people. He made smart people. Once you become a child of the king, your DNA has changed. He give you common sense and spiritual sense too so use it use it and so i just want to read this real quick it's already 17 minutes my time goes really fast here but anyway i love being here today talking to you people i just want to lift roger up because he's just doing a great job awesome job and like i told him this morning i'm very happy god connected us but don't praise me at all it's nothing to do with me i mean he used me but you need to praise god almighty he's the only one that deserves praise and i just want to be humble humble me to be humble because you know we are nobody and as i'm gonna read here <laughs> but if you humble yourself he can really use you to do might and wonderful things great and mighty things white raiment required when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how came how camest thou in hither, not having a wedding garment? How can you come in here not having a wedding garment? He asked him. Matthew 22, 11, 12. By the wedding garment in the parable is represented the pure spotless character which Christ's true followers will possess. To the church it is given that he, to the church it is given that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing. Revelation 19.8. The fine linen, says the scripture, is the righteousness of saints. Ephesians 5.27. It is the righteousness of Christ. His own unblemished character, 
that through faith is imparted to all who receive him as their personal savior. Absolutely. You receive that unblemished character when you give your life to Jesus Christ, get your DNA changed, get your DNA changed. The white robe of innocence was worn by our first parents when they were placed by God in Holy Eden. But when sin entered, they severed their connection with God and the light that had encircled them departed. Nothing can man devise, nothing can man devise to supply the place of his lost robe of innocence. Only the covering which Christ himself has provided can make us meet to appear in God's presence. This covering, the robe of his own righteousness, Christ will put upon every repentant, believing soul. This robe woven in the loom of heaven has in it not one thread of human devising. Christ and his humanity, humanity walked out a perfect character, and this character he offers, he offers to impart to us. All our righteousness are as filthy rags. Amen to that, brother. Amen to that, sister. That is absolutely true. That's what I was just saying. We are nothing. We are nobody. Without him, we can do nothing. And all our righteousness is like filthy rags, okay? We can't build up ourselves. We can't judge others. We don't know. We can't. We have to pray for one another. We have to uh, uplift one another. That's what we, the church body need to be doing, not tearing down one another, you know, all these things about uh, racism and, oh, well, God was black. He, oh, he was a black man. Oh, uh, uh, you, know, I, you know, maybe he was, and I'm not saying he isn't. But if he was green, purple, yellow, I wouldn't care because he's my savior. And we need to just people be about our father's business. We have been robbed. We have been deceived. We have been taught wrong. We have. We absolutely have. But we have to get what we have and use what we have. And let him lead us and guide us. But I know, like he said, you can have prophecy. You can have all these things, gifts. You can have all these things. But if you don't have love, so think about that. You got to have love. And the only true love comes from Yeshua HaMashiach. He's the only one to give us love. Pure love, pure joy, pure peace. We're not going to have peace. Obama and them can talk and, and, and they could have all these treaties and talks and whatever but we're not having any peace to christ come no peace no peace from man no peace only in yeshua hamashiach okay and all our righteousness are as filthy rags isaiah 64 6 everything that we of ourselves can do is defiled by sin but the son of god was manifested to take away our sins and in in him is no sin first john 3 5 by his perfect obedience, he has made it possible for every human being to obey God's commandments. When we submit ourselves to Christ, the heart is united with his heart. The will is merged in his will. The mind becomes one with his mind. The thoughts are brought into captivity to him. We live his life. This is what it means to be clothed with the garment of his righteousness. Then as the Lord looks upon us, he sees not the fig not the fig leaf garment, not the nakedness and deformity of sin, but his own robe of righteousness, which is perfect obedience to the law of Jehovah. Speaking of Jehovah, I just talked to a girl this morning about, she said she was a Jehovah witness, or she's studying with the Jehovah witness right now. I have lots of family members as Jehovah witnesses, but I'm going to tell you, the only thing I tell people about all these denominations that we carry around the globe. I tell people to study your Bible. I know King James Version to me is inspired. And I know you can always have a, another Bible to break it down. Like I use the Jewish, complete Jewish Bible to break it down. I love that version. But you should read the King James Version's Bible first because it's inspired. And I really feel like, you know, that you don't need another Bible. You don't need the Mormon Bible. You don't need a uh, Jehovah Witness. Uh, I forgot what they call their Bible, the new translation, whatever. I don't know. But we don't need those Bibles, okay? We need to just stick with what is pure and true and, and leave it like that. Because you know what? 
I don't know, but that's the only Bible ever inspired my heart, ever had me to really remember it, remember the words that Jesus said in the King James Version Bible. And number two, if they not keeping the commandments of God, if they don't follow the prophets of old, like Jesus said, if they don't follow the prophets of old, they don't believe in me, they don't believe in my father, they don't believe in me. So, you know, you need to make sure that they're keeping the commandments of God and have the faith of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit inside of them. Because otherwise, I don't know, I don't follow uh, flawless things that's not true. But I'm going to stop here. I didn't know my time was over so much, people. I just want you to really uh, try to support Bob Barbara if you can. But he's giving Bibles out all over the world. And go to the, uh, make sure you go below my uh, video. And, and if you need these books, request them from me. What's Behind the New World Order. The tracks are still available. Very wonderful tracks to have. I talk about this every day, people. So uh, the perfect storm is coming. So just be ready. Father, I ask that you be with the people, Father, watching today. I ask that you put angels in the midst of them in their homes, Father. I bind Satan and all his evil angels below, beyond, beneath, mentioned and unmentioned, known and unknown. I bind all evil spirits on assignment against this video to people watching their homes, their marriages, their jobs, Father. Give them that faith they need, Father, to go through the trials and tribulations coming on this earth, Father. We're going to need faith. We're going to need supernatural faith to get through the things coming. And so we know when all these things are taken away, you say heaven and earth will pass away, but your words won't pass away. And we just ask that you help us to cling to your word and to cling to your heart, Father. We ask that your Holy Spirit come in their homes and send angels in the midst of them. Chase them, Father. Just help them to know you are the only God we need. You are the only one, Father. Rock, wood, and stone. We don't need, Father. We need you. We thank you so much for everything you've given us. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we ask. Amen and amen. So you have a wonderful and blessed day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow on the next video. Bye-bye.